Hi everyone. So for my author study, I chose to um, study uh, Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. So um, some of the reasons I chose her um, as the author that I um, am studying is because I grew up reading Phyllis Reynolds Naylor books. In particular, I loved the Alice series. Um, Alice McKinley was a great er character that I think that students can really relate to. So I think that this, the reason why students read these books in the Alice series are because um, they're realistic life events, um, I'd consider it realistic fiction, that um, could happen to them. And so I think that the author does a great job um, relaying these realistic events, these life um, events, in a way that um, really fascinates um, students. And she also, um, <laughs> Alice is a very witty character and a very, um, very funny character, so she definitely adds a lot of humor into her stories too, which I think is definitely very um, appealing to adolescents. Um, a lot of her books do not have a very high lexile level, so I think a lot of struggling readers enjoy the books. And um, you can really read the Alice McKinley series um, throughout the years. It starts out with Alice only being 8 and goes all the way until she's 18. So there are really books in this series for all ages of readers, which I think is awesome. It starts out as kid books and then goes right to the adolescent books. Um, so I think that the content is very... Um, true to the time period and very relevant to students today. So let's learn a little bit more about um, Phyllis. So she was born in Indiana during the Great Dep Depression. Um, she started telling stories when she was in kindergarten during circle time. Her teacher would write down those stories and then she would take them home to her parents. Her teacher always said, Phyllis, you need to give someone else a turn. So she was eager to tell stories from a young age. Her parents did inspire her. Her parents read to her every night, um, even when she was a teenager. So really, um, you know, being exposed to all those stories at a young age really inspired her to love writing and to love books. Um, she looked up to her older sister, Norma, and did everything that her older sister did. Um, every club that her older sister was in, she also wanted to join. She married her high school sweetheart right out of um, high school, and she then divorced him a few years later, and um, she remarried and had two sons. So for the majority of this presentation, I'm going to focus on the Alice books because those are the books that I really enjoyed growing up. But first, I'm going to talk about a different book that Alice wrote. Um, it's called Crazy Love. It's one of her adult books that she wrote. Um, but maybe it could be considered adolescent, depending. Um, so interestingly enough, she wrote this book about her first husband. Her first husband had a number of different mental disorders, and so she wrote about their love and um, how she ended up having to let him go because she couldn't deal with um, the burden of having him around with his mental disorders, even after treatment. Um, it talks about how she had to scrounge around for money and write a bunch of short stories to make ends meet while her um, husband, well, that ex-husband, was going through a lot. Um, so there are a number of different themes that I found in the Alice books that I think relate to Phyllis's um, life. So um, one of the themes, um, so she, Phyllis, had a, her sister die of cancer when um, she was young. And so, um, it's interestingly enough, Alice McKinley, the character, her mother died of cancer when Alice was young. So that's one connection I made. Um, Alice also learned to um, play the, or not Alice, I'm sorry, Phyllis learned to play the piano by ear at a very young age, and she loved music. And um, I think the character Alice loves music as well. She works in her dad's music store, um, and her dad also plays the piano by ear, which I thought was an inconnect interesting connection. Alice McKinley also, um, the story takes place in Maryland and Phyllis currently lives in Maryland so I thought that was a connection. Um, Phyllis says that some of the stories about her friendships growing up or um, she wrote about them in her Alice books through um, the friendships uh, that Alice had with um, Elizabeth P Pamela and later on Gwen. And um, Phyllis said she always wanted a daughter, so um, 
creating the character Alice is kind of like her fictional daughter on pages. And she said that it's, on, on the Phyllis Ronald website, she said, um, it's much easier to raise a daughter on pages than it is in real life. So I thought that was kind of funny. So when it all started, so she started making books in fourth grade. Um, her parents were very poor. Um, so she found scrap paper around the house and in different various places and wrote on the backs of used paper and then stapled the paper together, drew pictures to go along with her words, and gave people her stories. Um, she did a number of different uh, various um, competitions and shared her work throughout school um, and she graduated as the senior class poet. She's published over 120 books, 2,000 short stories, won a Newbery Medal, and has written over 27, or has written 27 books for the Alice series. So a quote from her, um, getting an idea for a book is not hard for me. Keeping other ideas away while I am working on one story is what is difficult. My books are based on things that have happened to me, things I have heard heard or read about, all mixed with imagination. So that's one of Phyllis Reynolds' quotes, and I think that's interesting to see that not everything that's in the books is real, but a lot of the stuff is based on her own um, life. So um, Alice starts out, as I mentioned earlier, the books start out with starting with Alice and she's eight, ends when she's 18, um, with Now I'm Telling You Everything. So she started the book series at age 50 when she became a grandma. Um, a number of the events that happen in the Alice books are based on her real life, um, such as her first kiss. Um, the character Alice's first kiss was, kiss was on a porch swing with her boyfriend Patrick, and Phyllis's first kiss was on a porch swing. Um, <laughs> Phyllis said that she had a she reenacted Tarzan and Jane reenactment when she was in school, and that also um, is in the Alice books as well. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the stories about friendship are similar to um, Phyllis's as well. There are 27 books in the series. She had her husband read every book before she sent it to the editor. She stopped writing the books when her husband died. And that's when the um, Alice series ends. So and there are a number of controversial topics that, you know, um, was made her books, challenge books, um, um, censorship with um, intellectual freedom. And some of those topics were sex, sexual orientation, masturbation, death, and coming of age. So um, those were all topics that you know, parents challenged and continue to challenge. But I think that they're books that can be easily incorporated um, into literature circles for students or even um, in free read. It's also very interesting because her, um, her, her the first couple of her books are actually made into a movie. So you could easily bridge the books with the movie and that'd be very interesting. Um, also online, you can find a number of her books on audio tape, which I think is also great. And she's actually reading the books herself on audio tape. It's also always interesting to hear the author read the books. So I think that that's very interesting. She also has a great website that kids can visit. Um, and the, in, the website's very interactive, has a lot of pictures, and has the series so students can see um, what order they should be reading the Alice books in. There's synopsis of all the books and all the other um, books that she's written. And also, I find very interesting that she has a blog that is very, very currently updated. And she has a blog for each series of her books. So she has a blog specifically dedicated to Alice, which I think is something that fans can... Um, would would really appreciate and like I know that I read through a bunch of <laughs> her blog posts um, and you know frequently asked questions about the Alice books because I was interested myself so I think that that would be um, that would really inspire kids to want to read this series I know once I started this series I couldn't stop so I really think that this is a series that kids are absolutely gonna love struggling readers are going to love and, um, you know, this, Al this Alice character is just so spunky and witty and humorous. You can't help but to love her. And she goes through so many life events that teens go through. Um, you know, her first kiss, um, finding out that one of her friends was gay, to losing a friend um, due to cancer, to um, her first picture date, a prom, to college, filling out college applications, to her first job, to having... Um, her dad remarry and so these are all just events that students can relate to um and here are my sources so if you haven't read her series definitely check it out alice mckinley series